Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be upgrading this two gigabyte HP Chrome box to four gigs, so stay tuned. Before we start working on our Chrome box, I wanted to show you how much RAM is being reported by the operating system. Now, I'm gonna be using a program called System that you can get in the Chrome Web Store. So what we'll be doing is clicking system and in the application the amount of RAM that's being reported is 1.97 gigabytes. Now the reason why it's not showing the full 2 gigs is probably it's um, being used by the internal graphics. It's probably shared memory. So let's go ahead and get started. To do this project, you will need one HP Chromebox with two gigs of RAM. You will need a four gigabyte stick of RAM. Now this is PC 12800 by Kingston. This is low voltage. You can see it says the uh, PC3L right there. That means it's uh, 1.35 volts or even 1.25 volts will allow it to have that designation, but this is 1.35 volts instead of the normal 1.5 volts, which will not work. So there is the memory. You'll also need a couple of tools like this small Phillips screwdriver. And I would recommend having some sort of suction cup and some sort of prying tool. First, we're gonna go ahead and remove these rubber feet. Now they're just sort of stuck on with glue and that's why I recommend using a, a prying tool to sort of get under there. It's a little bit difficult. By the way, keep track of where these feet go. And I'm saying that because they are slightly different. The front ones and the rear ones are shaped a little bit different. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them sort of in the order <laughs> that I'm taking them out off camera here. Next, we have four screws that must be removed that were under each foot. Go ahead and loosen all these up. All these screws are the same size so you don't need to keep track of them other than not losing them. Life's a little bit easier if you have a screwdriver that has a magnetic tip. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the bottom cover, and this is where the suction cup comes in. We just go ahead and place it on there and pull, and voila! Real easy. Next, we have this metal plate. If you notice, there are two conductive adhesive strips here. We're going to have to remove one of them. So, um, before we do that, we have to remove five screws. One here, 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 and two down in this corner here. All of these screws are the same size, so you don't need to keep track of which one went into which hole. Again, magnetic screwdriver is a big help. Now the next thing we need to do is remove one of these uh, conductive strips. I'm going to go ahead and pull off one of these. This is a, a little bit tricky. I'm going to go ahead and pull off this side here. Really doesn't matter. Just one side so we can flip this, this metal um, plate out of the way. There we go. And now all we'll do is flip this out of the way and that exposes the RAM. Now, I'm probably going to post another video after this video and it's going to be called uh, HP Chromebox Memory Upgrade Fail because I originally had bought two gigs of memory thinking that I would just add it into an empty slot but as you can see here there's only one memory slot the second slot that you would find on the Asus and other Chrome boxes um, is it the sockets not installed and there's just traces where it would have went HP cut corners there to remove the memory you just pull back on these tabs on each side like that and then pull it out at an angle 
and then go ahead and put the new memory in at that same angle it came out push it into the slot and then carefully push down and there you go now all we do is reassemble the chrome box the same way we took it apart Now for the moment of truth, we'll go ahead and press the power button and see if it boots up. That's always a good sign. We'll go ahead and log in. I'm going to go ahead and close my browser. We don't need to see that. What we do need to see is, I'm going to bring this off camera a little bit. Uh, going to um, bring up the system application and see if we have four gigs of RAM so tell me do we have four gigs of RAM yes we do so we have a successful upgrade so what I hope you're taking away from this video is if you have an HP Chromebox that you had purchased that has two gigs of RAM and you want to upgrade to 4 that you do not buy the 2 gig stick that you buy a 4 gig stick because you're going to have to replace the memory in the only socket that is in the machine now if you have an Asus or some other Chromebox you probably have two sockets also the last thing I'd like to um, sort of encourage is that this is pretty simple as you can see it's so simple that I can do it so I know you can do it so if you want to go ahead and upgrade that RAM you could go ahead the Chrome OS can take advantage of that with the Haswell processors um, by the way this particular setup will not take advantage of anything more than 4 gigs so going anything above that is futile <laughs> okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the Obsession channel I really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great evening okay.